Hello guys and welcome back to Lawn Mowing Simulator where Kiss My Grass is doing just fine. I actually have now two employees. Uh, last episode we hired, uh, what's her name now? Yeah, wait, where are we gonna go over to here? Employees, we hired Amber Oliver and <laughs> I think she called in sick in her second day or whatever. And a couple days later she called in sick again. I was like, you know, I'm not gonna fire her. We'll, we'll see how she gets along. So I, I hired someone else. I mean, why not? I'm only gonna pay him, I think it's like $200 a week because he is a journeyman. Yeah, $200 a week. I said, if he just does one job and covers up for the days that she's sick, I have a spare employee to take over. And uh, that's been working out rather well. But while we're in here, as you can see now, Amber Oliver now is now actually pro, pro, proficient. Uh, she's actually higher than a journeyman. But since we hired her at a low ranking, the, the wage payment is actually the same as uh, the journeyman of Ryan Andrews. But while we're in here, as you can see, we can also do some training. That's right, you can train your employees. Um, let's go ahead and you can do, do one, one skill per day from what I found out. Let's just do time management. Time management, it's only gonna cost me a hundred bucks. I do want to save some cash. We're going to do something else here before we get going on some contracts today. So we'll go ahead and, um, or have I already trained her for today? Why is that? This employee has already, already seen training for today. All right, well, um, let me go ahead and, uh, nope, back up, back up. There we go. Let's go to Ryan Andrews. Let's train him and we'll spend $50 for training for him. Yeah, so he has uh, no experience, so 150 XP will get, or I could spend $200 for advanced driving level. That would give him a lot of XP, but we'll just do this. Like I said, I want to save some cash. Let's go ahead and accept that. Yes, you're all set. All right, so next thing I want to do today, because another thing I found out, is um, purchasing headquarters. So when I was looking at headquarters before, it's like, okay, this one cost 160,000. I'm like, well, it's gonna take a little while. And I kept mowing lawns, kept mowing lawns. I'm thinking, that's gonna take a while to get 160,000. I just happened to click on this for some unknown reason and it says, uh, so the next garage available to us is the White White Hall House. We currently got the Red Wall Building. I click on this and it says, are you sure you want to move headquarters from Red Wall Building to White Hall House? So apparently you can only have one headquarters. So it's not like you're buying multiple buildings and adding more bays. Apparently you'd only move one from one building to an X. It's only gonna cost me apparently $5,470 to move. So let's go ahead and accept that. Oh, look at that, it's even got your name on the building. I've also changed the logo. If you look on the sign up there, you can see where the logo's changed or on the shirt, you can see it. So now I actually have an extra bay. The other thing I've done in between episodes is this currently and, uh, wait a minute, did I do the space for, for mowers? I hope not. Um, I traded the night lawn mower. Where's my mowers here? And bought myself a Skag Patriot 52. Not only did I buy that, I also bought the mulching deck. So it does mulching. And I also bought the striping kit because I started to get contracts for the do some striping. We're gonna do some striping today uh, here pretty soon. So am I, I need to go back to my headquarters here for a second. Um, upgrade is 1,500. It says, it says one of three. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, are you sure you want to upgrade White Hall? This will take seven days to complete. Cost of 1500 and allow for one extra bay. This action cannot be undone. You know, let's not do that yet because I actually may just go ahead after this. I may, if I have enough cash, I may upgrade to the next building. Um, let's go to here. I have one bay available. So let's go ahead and buy ourselves a, another mower. So maybe I won't have the cash when I get done. Uh, this is the skag that I purchased right here. Um, it's a 52 inch deck size with size side discharge. So I may go, no nope, wrong buttons. Uh, I may go ahead and try the Toro. That's nine grand, a 48 inch rear discharge. Um, available attachments is a recycler kit. So I, I'm gonna assume recycler kits kind of like a mulching system. Sure. Let's go ahead and we'll purchase this one here. Uh, yep, brings us down to 22 grand, that is fine. Uh, that way, our uh, we can get our third worker going here. So there are three mowers that we currently got. Like I said, I'm not gonna bother upgrading because I'm just curious here. If we go back to headquarters, if I go purchase headquarters, 
I actually have enough to purchase another uh, the, the another headquarters. Are you sure you want to move from the Whitehall house to the Windsor garage? Leave me with seven thousand. Um, he did it. <laughs> That's actually a nice looking building. Um, yeah, I kind of like that. So, all right. So I don't have enough to buy another mower. Actually, I probably could actually hire another dry uh, another employee. Hang on a second. Let's go. Uh, employees. No, no, wrong buttons. Uh, awaiting applicants. Uh, Emily is a journeyman. Journeyman. Proficient. Professional journeyman. Um, you know what? You're first on the list. A journeyman for 200. Let's go ahead and confirm that. You are hired. Unable to hire Emily. You already employ the maximum number of employees too allowed at your current reputation level. Okay. I am right now a trusted rank number three ranking. So what ranking do I need to be to be able to hire more employees? I may have jumped ahead here. Um, okay, so with that being said, um, that's no problem. So I've already got a couple contracts set for today. Uh, looks like uh, Kingsbury House. Uh, Amber's going to do that. She's going to do that in the Patterson. So nothing fancy there. It's 435 bucks. We'll confirm that. Um, we will be doing this one right here. You can see employee me. Uh, we're going to be that in the Patriot 52. This requires a mulcher or collector and require, requires the roller. So we're going to confirm that. And I need to find a job for our other worker. I'm just trying to see 355, 360. So nothing to Parkland. You know what? You're going to go to... All right, Andrews. Contract type is litter collection. Wait, excuse me? That's not a mowing contract? That's just a litter collection? Weaver Square has been covered by litter by people attending a recent gathering. The local council requires a litter to be cleared up. Um, okay, hang on a sec. <laughs> that, that is interesting. I did not know that. That's not even a mowing contract. That's just going around picking up litter. Um, yeah, can I, can I, I don't want to confirm contract. I want to get out of that contract. Uh, <laughs> litter pickup? That's something new. Uh, can I send you here, employee, Ryan Andrews, uh, deck size is 40 inches. It's going to be a little bit oversized. I don't have the mulcher on the Toro yet, so that's good. doesn't need one. Uh, let me guess the deck size is a little bit too big, but we'll go ahead and accept that. Confirm contract. All right, let's go to work. So another thing that somebody uh, uh, mentioned a, a while ago is, oh, what you could do is just get enough workers and hire workers, and, and that way you just hit start contracts, and the day skips over in just a second. Y no, you, you have to do a contract every day. You can't just hire employees and send them off on contracts and then start contracts, and it's going to be done in a matter of seconds. You have to be one of the people that does a contract every day. You don't get to call in sick. So there's that. Oh, and also, by the way, uh, there is now no more background music to this. So, yeah, if you watch, if you try to watch last week's episode when it went live, it went live late because, yeah. Yep, the music is copyrighted. So, no more music. No more music. I got rid of it completely. Uh, so, I got to find four objects. Well, there's a one. One object there. This job is not that difficult. Like I said, I've already done a couple of striping contracts just to get a hang of it. And it's actually pretty neat the way you gotta do it. So, did I just see? Yeah, I saw that one right there. Um, I should be able to see all, because this is short grass. Now, this Skag Patriot, I have fallen in love with this lawnmower. Not just because it's an upgrade from the Knight and the, the Patterson, if you want to call it an upgrade. Every lawnmower has, you know, uh, each little little thing that I can do. The night lawnmower was great. Just uh, too compact for the jobs I'm getting. May go back to that eventually. Now uh, let's go ahead and start the mower. Oh crap, I forgot to see how high the grass should be. I'm going to guess two and a half. 
I, I forgot to check that. Oh, I was doing everything else. Uh, so much in my mind to start the episode. Yep. Um, Alright, so now if I lower the striper. Now, if you look on the grass, you'll see arrows. That is the direction you need to go when you do the striping. Now, as you can see, there is a stripe, stripe breaking in the upper right-hand corner that I have to require. Now, you don't have to be too efficient with that. I will say that. Uh, if I can get the camera angle just right, that'd be good. Uh, let's engage the deck. And there we go. So you have to stripe the lawn in the direction it's showing you. I was going to say on the map, but on the grass. Now the first two jobs I did 95%, so we'll see how I do today. Uh, the other thing I've been trying to do is do a job with no damage, uh, no penalties. And even at times I thought I've done a job where I've had no collisions, uh, this or that. I always have something somewhere and I can't figure out where the damage is coming from. And it's been getting me a little bit annoyed at what's going on there. So we'll see today if I can do a job where I do no, no damage to the lawn or whatever. I will say with the Skag I have not damaged the lawn yet. It's all been collisions I've been dealing with. So that was kind of interesting. I was not expecting them like, I'll just keep, I'll just get ready to hire an employee and the game's like, uh, guess what? No, you're not. You're not high enough rank. All right. So now I got to do this little strip over here. Because that's the way the arrows go. Alright, so since we're kind of going this way, let's go out to the backyard, or the front yard. I don't know where exactly where we are, but I'm kind of focused on the arrows. Now this contract I've already done once. Same house, same, same exact everything. That was interesting though. I also did not know there was this litter pickup contracts. I, I wonder how many things you'd have to pick up on doing that contract. Maybe we'll after we do this, because this job's not going to take me too long, I hope. Uh, probably like 20 minutes or so. Maybe if I can get that contract again, we'll go ahead and do it ourselves. I, I, I know I'm missing probably some grass here or there. Mowing, because I'm so focused on the striping. I'm kind of interested about going around picking up quote-unquote litter. I'm wondering how many pieces are going to be on the ground for litter. Yeah, I was kind of uh, shocked when I was looking at the headquarters a couple days ago. Because I had, I had, what, like 40 grand in our bank account. And I'm like, at first I'm like, oh, 160 grand. We can get there kind of at a decent rate. And I kept mowing lawns. I kept mowing lawns. I'm like, all right, it is slowly getting there. And then I started training my employees and I was spending some cash there. I'm like, all right, how much more money do I actually need to upgrade the garage? I just happened to click on it to see how much more exactly it was. And I was shocked when I said, oh, you can purchase this headquarters and you still have like 30000 in your bank account. I'm like, oh, so you're not actually, you're actually selling your old headquarters and moving into a new one. It's not like you're, you have multiple headquarters. All right, I got gotcha. you. Now, I got a headquarters to where I got more bays than I, I have capable for people. But now that I got an extra worker going out there, um, maybe we'll get some more rep a little bit more and we'll rank up now it's all about doing getting some ranks the money seems to be fine also someone made a comment uh, I think it was like on last episode I was in the Patterson and I was doing the horse training facility I think it was a horse training facility um, instead I was only going half the speed that I could uh, yes and, and no uh, the, what you're seeing on the right hand corner I, I know what they're saying, I could have gone probably a little bit faster when I was doing that contract but it's a fine line between uh, the speed and overloading your motor by getting too much grass in, so just by going like a quarter of a mile an hour faster, you can easily overload your engine and cause up, you know, a whole bunch of problems by not actually cutting grass and all that so, 
I, I like to try to do the you know one pass on the lawn once and get it over and done with rather than overloading the engine and getting you know grass I don't cut and you have to go back and find the pieces that you missed or or just back up and take care of it and plus when you overload your engine it also requires you more repair costs at the end of a job and I'm kind of curious I would like to see and I don't know if it's going to be in the game or not I have no idea uh, because I know I'm not that far advanced in the game but I can see like if you start getting a lot of employees and a lot of mowers at the end of every day to repair each mower I'm going to get that again here there we go hopefully it's fine um have to repair each mower so say you like got like let's just say you got 20 mowers and 20 employees so at the end of every day you pretty much have to go in and uh, maintain all 20 lawn mowers uh a fix all button would be good at some point <laughs> that'd be awesome or something in the beginning it's kind of neat because you just have to go and do one or two lawn mowers it's like yeah i can do this but i'm just thinking about when someone gets like 20 mowers or something like that it can be kind of challenging one to fix them all but the training's going to be kind of good because uh amber oliver yeah that's the one that we hired as an apprentice and moving on up yeah, she put repair costs on the lot on the Patterson because I've been using the Skag quite quite a bit, as you can imagine. But yeah, the repair cost that she has on that tractor was like forty, fifty dollars for repairing the mower. It was like twenty, thirty dollars to repair the engine. Then of course, uh, you know, fix the blades and refuel. So she was costing me somewhere around a hundred dollars after every job for fixing the mower. Now she was doing contracts that brought in like four or five hundred so yeah she's making a profit but she did cut into the profit margin a bit but now that we can train her up a bit uh, the cost hopefully won't be as much now I was looking at other mowers that could do the job that this one's doing right here so like this job requires mulching or a bagger and um, the stripe the striper or roller so the the next skag in line, or the or quote unquote the better one, I guess it would be. Um, you can get the roller on it, but it doesn't do mulching, but it does rear bagging. Now I don't think I've done rear bagging. I don't think I've done baggers yet in lawn mowing simulator, but uh, maybe we'll give it a try here at some point. All right, so there's that part of the yard done. Uh, can I sneak through here? I think so. Alright, so I gotta... I can't do the edge of the lawn because the edge of the lawn has a stripe going back up, so... Look at this. So as for your point of view when I do videos, yeah, I'm gonna try to do third person. Because that way you get to see the mower and see what's going on. But honestly, if I was doing this job off camera, I probably would do striping in third person as well. I'm just trying to get overall use of third person because uh, it's a better view for you guys. First person, it can get you zoned out for a bit because you're staring at, oops, uh, you're just staring at grass blades now and then. I shouldn't say you're staring at them now and then, you're constantly staring at them. Still trying to get used to the sensitivity of the Xbox controller for this game. Actually, for any game. <laughs> sensitivity. Alright, so that stripe has got to come back up the other way. From my understanding though, for doing striping, so if you look up in the upper right hand corner, you can see the progress, and at the end of that progress bar, you see like a yellow stripe. That's where I got to get for progress. As for the stripe rating, you can see that the yellow bar is way to the left, so it's almost like really don't have to do striping if you don't want to maybe I'm not sure if that's what it's for you know um, maybe you don't get paid as much I'm not sure I'm just come over here to start because I'm looking for a way to go down this way I will be interested to see at the end of this job do I have any collision damage 
Now, if I do, the only thing I can think that's happening is, is I'm going over the patio stones with the mowing deck going, so I could be maybe damaging the patio stones. We'll see what happens when we get done here, which is not going to take us too long. But this gag, this is the Patriot model. Loving it. Doesn't seem to uh, overload the engine as much, even when I do contracts that with the grass, I'm cutting the grass by like a foot. So I can cut the grass for almost a foot off and do, you know, mow the grass, say like at six miles an hour or so. It doesn't seem to have too much of an issue. Uh, I have tried my steering wheel again. I have the G27 and it does not, yeah, it doesn't even register that it's even there. Kind of unfortunate, but you know, the G27 is an older wheel. Sometimes when uh, you see games and it says, oh yeah, the Logitech G29 uh, or the two, is it 290 or 9, I forgot what the model is. Um, usually when I see that on there, usually the game does recognize the G27, but this one does not. No big deal. I'll just use the Xbox controller. So, yeah, also I have yet to damage a lawn with a Skag, this Patriot. Even with the zero turn, do donuts in the yard and uh, have, have had no issues whatsoever. I have missed so much grass, I did not complete the contract. Okay, so let's go here. see the striping in the grass now as I get it done. I got some more grass over here that I missed. It always seems to work out that way. Off camera, I had no problem doing this job and now that uh, you guys are watching me do it, I'm having a whole bunch of issues getting done. Alright, I have found out from like what you guys said, if I hit the uh, I kind of get off the tractor. Oh wow, I missed a lot of grass everywhere. Uh, I found out what, you know, you guys told me how to get off the tractor, and of course when I went to settings, I'm like, oh yeah, it tells you right there um, how to do so. Let's turn back around here. Because that's the only thing I see when I do the stripe contracts, is it's kind of harder to see where the grass that you, you know, that you're trying to cut. Did I miss a whole section here? I did. Maybe I'm just trying to be too precise on getting the stripes in. Alright, there we go. Actually, my stripe rating just went down a little bit, so I must be out of alignment there a little. That's fine. Let's go back. Uh, turn the end, uh, turn the mowing deck off. Let's get back on. Roll up here. All right, so nice little stripes there. Not too bad. Oh, I should have taken, you know, got off the tractor, taken a, a thumb thumbnail shot. Ah, it is what it is. I can always get one later on. So you can see my vehicle and engine damage very minimal. Blades are worn a little bit. Uh, fuel uh, penalties and fines one dollar for collisions. I'm not sure what I hit, but I'm guessing it's a patio stones. Have no idea. Um, Amber is doing much better on the tractor uh, for damage wise. So th that's nice. Uh, she brought in like 391. And uh, Ryan Andrews did pretty well as well in the Toro. All right, let's go to uh, here. And now what I got to do is the maintenance. So. $36 in repair. That's, I guess, not too bad. 
Uh, the engine, twelve dollars. So yeah, uh, getting your employees better skills definitely helps out. Now, when you see maintenance on mine, I did seventeen cents in vehicle repair. No damage to the engine. Blades were eighteen dollars. That's kind of expensive. And a dollar nine in fuel. That brings us to the Toro Z Master two thousand. Um, he did thirty dollars and sixty three cents in damage. Uh, the engine eighteen. Yeah. And refuel. All right. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't want to exit the game yet. Uh, we need to go to here. What do we got for contracts today? Uh, Weaver Square, is that picking up trash? It is. Um, we're going to do that because I'm just kind of curious what that is all about. We'll confirm that contract. Uh, 560, I'm looking for the big contracts. Uh, there's one. Um, it doesn't require a mulch or anything like that. Uh, mowing deck of 59. We are going to give that to Amber. And you know what? She can take the skag out for a ride. Confirm. And what other contracts? Uh, I think RP value is something I need to look at because, well, yeah, we need the RP value. So there's one of of uh, 390. Is that another litter pickup? Uh, there's one for 540. Requires a roller. Uh, I gave Amber the skag, so no. Um, all right, Amber, I am sorry, but you're going to have to take the Toro out. Yeah, she can take the Toro out. Because it doesn't require mulch or anything like that. All right, so you got that one. Um, we're doing litter pickup. And where's the one for five? There we go. And you can go there. And now you can take that one right there. Confirm. And I think we're all set. There we go. So our job today is going around picking up some litter. Oh, yeah. And by the way, on the last contract, I guess I guessed right on the lawn height. Because uh, I forgot to check it. Not only when I took the contract, but when the contract started. So we are picking up trash today. 13 objects and I got 10 minutes to do it in, huh? I just mowed this lawn a couple days ago, so it shouldn't be too difficult. You can actually see the items. Because the grass is not that tall. This is a contract I was not expecting in Lawn Mowing Simulator because, uh, well, it's different. Let's just say it's different. Let's go get this piece of paper here. I think I'll just go around and pick up the pieces that we can see. Now, see, the ambient noises around here I kind of like because it's, it's more fitting. Um, just a couple, I think it was like episode one where I was in a residential area and I'm hearing cows moo and I'm like, eh. I mean, I guess they could be in that area. This doesn't didn't seem right to me. Just my opinion. I pick that up. Uh, I got four objects left apparently, and right now we're just doing a quick scan. Is what we're doing here. I pick that up, please. There we go. All right, so I missed three objects in my scan, so... Take a more thorough investigation around here. I'm not even sure. Oh, it's a tennis ball. Aha, uh -huh. Two more objects. And I still got eight minutes to go. All right, that's plenty of time. Of course, I say that, and <laughs> maybe one of these objects where it's like, yeah, you can't find it, can you? It's like, no, I can't. Right, I'm searching too hard here. I got the bigger area, which I not have really given a thorough look over. Right, so one more object. And it's right there. All right, that was uh, quick and easy. I mean, I get paid well, but the RP value, not great. And that RP value is what we're looking for. Uh, can I? Yeah, I want to. 
Why can I, uh... Oh, I gotta press and hold. Okay, I was just... All right, and just like that, uh, that job is done for today. <laughs> um, I got paid 42. Uh, litter collection earnings, uh, time bonus of thirteen ninety four. so I guess that's okay. Um, oh, we leveled up as well. We are now... Or is that is that his uh a fourteen hundred? Employee experience level increase. Amber Oliver increased level to to professional new wages two twenty five. Congratulations to her. Trusted rate number four. Uh, professional challenge oh uh, number seven unlocked. Amber Oliver has called in sick and cannot work today. Um, she always seems to call in sick, so it was a rainy day. So if I have her work on a rainy day, she always calls in sick the following day. So um, I wonder if I can hire. Unable to hire Emily, you're already employed. The maximum number of employees too allowed at your current reputation level. So, I mean, that that's, it is what it is. I, I mean, we did go up a level, so I don't know. Um, I wish it would, cut, does it tell us somewhere what level I need to be at? I don't know. Uh, let's go to headquarters, not purchase headquarters. Do I want to upgrade? No, I don't need to upgrade because I got three of six garage slots available. Uh, can I purchase? No, I was thinking, can we, uh, can we, can we, can we upgrade to the final garage here? What happens if I do this? Minus 15, I'd actually bring in money. I mean, I don't want to do that. I'm just kind of curious. So you can, if you're trying to get more money, you can always downgrade back to another headquarters. Um, I was trying to see, uh, I'm trying to figure out this buying thing. So I think I need like 25 grand to buy the unlimited amount of bays. But right now, uh, yeah, we are fine because I got three open slots in this one. And by the time I get enough employees and get enough mowers, I can always buy the... The last headquarters. Uh, do I want to take another job today? The uh, wrong button. Oh no, I got to. Sorry, I got to go in and fix the mowers. Yeah, you caused forty-eight dollars and fifty-three cents in damage to the vehicle. Twenty dollars in, in the engine damage. Five twenty-eight in blades. Uh, back on up. Oh, what I need to do on this here. While we're here, 22, yeah, okay. Hiring a mechanic for your headquarters would be good. Uh, what I want to do here is attachments. Uh, let's go to the shop. So 48 inch recycle kit. That should allow us to do mulching jobs with this. So it's 205 bucks. Okay, we purchased it. And now I need to go and Confirm. So it's on. It should be on. Yep, it's on because there's no discharge, I think. It's hard to tell because it's supposed to discharge out the back, but I think the discharge is closed. Um, all right. So only two workers say because Amber called in sick. Uh, another pickup job looks like I can tell by the RP value. Uh, Jefferson, the greens, 235. I'm looking at actually RP value. So there's 390 RP value. Let's go ahead and we'll hire or not hire, but Ryan Andrews will take it and you'll redo that with the skag. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. Uh, confirm contract. And we're going to take, let's see, 50, 265, 265. But that one pays more. 235. Let's go with uh, this one here. Requires mulcher and or collector. So we're going to hire me. And yep, we're going to take the Toro out. So this will be my first time doing the Z Master 2000.
And uh, my first time on a Toro. I've sat on a Skag lawnmower in real life, and uh, those seats are nice and comfortable. Uh, two and three eighths cutting height. Okay, two and three eighths. Two and three eighths. But first, I gotta find five objects. Two and three eighths. Two and three eighths. I, I just gotta keep repeating it because if I don't and I go sit in the lawnmower, I'll forget. But it's two and three eighths. So remind me in about a couple minutes. It's two and three eighths. Yeah, two and three eighths. There's probably a way, and I just uh, haven't really checked on it, to see what the contract asks for once you're in, once you're on the lawn, once you're on the job. Oh, I see another object in the grass because the grass wasn't rendered in, but the object was. I'm just cut backtracking a little bit. There we go. I think we're all set there. And two more objects. There's one. Oh, there's the last one. All right. Let's uh, try to get in our van and get ourselves a, a drink before we get in the lawn. Yeah, I finally went with that logo. Um, I don't know. Just seemed more fitting, I guess. All right. Let's start up the engine. And he said two and a half. No, no, two and three eighths. That's right. Two and three eighths. Uh, so two and a quarter it's going to have to be. I always try to cut it at the highest height. That way it's less that I have to mow. And let me see if I can find a good height for me to look at here. So now this is a smaller deck than the Patriot, but that's fine. It's not all about how big the deck is. That deck size doesn't mean everything. It's what you do with it. Uh, yep, there's some collision, so there goes your no collisions on this one. I am going to try to just take a little bit easy as I mow along the edges, then uh, I'll probably ramp up the speed. Alright, so I can already tell, like, getting in the corners on the Toro is a little bit more difficult because the mowing deck sits further back from the uh, front wheels. So getting in the corners could be a little bit more troublesome, I guess I could say. Yeah, so the only thing about driving a third person, if you get near taller trees, it kind of blocks your view for a bit. Oh, a little bit of a collision there. But every time you collide with something, it's not just a, a penalty fine at the end of the contract. It's also re more repairs you gotta do to the lawnmower at the end as well. Oh, I should have uh, trained my employees now as well. Yeah, so anytime I have Amber work on a rainy day, the next day she does call in sick. Get that, no, I can't really get that corner too much. Uh, hopefully it doesn't matter too much. There we go. Now that I'm further away from the edges, it's not gonna matter too much. And now we're rolling, kind of. Gotta be kind of careful, almost overloading the engine. It's not a big deal if you do overload the engine. I've never done it enough to where... I don't think I've done it yet to where the, the mower cuts out by overloading the engine. So now I just gotta work up my RP enough to be able to hire more workers. Oh, 
Oh, I'm already 12% done. I, yeah, and if you've been on this channel long enough, you do know that uh, when there's a game on Steam, and they have Steam achievements, I always like to try to go for the achievements. There's a couple of achievements I know I've done, and it hasn't checked them off, like buy your first vehicle. I'm like, uh, we've purchased a few. But I think in the last update they fixed that, and I know I got, I got a couple of achievements today when we did some things, so maybe it, maybe it recognizes about my first vehicle already. There's one achievement on there, and I'm trying to figure out how big the lawns get, because there's one achievement on there that says, uh, do a contract with a mower 50 centimeters smaller than recommended. So, I mean, the night that we had, I think was a 50 centimeter? I said centimeter. Is it centimeters? Yeah, centimeter uh, deck. So, there's going to be jobs in here that require, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. We'll see. I'm probably not high enough ranking uh, to see what those jobs actually are. It's funny how you get used to a mower, and then you switch to another one, and just because the deck sits further back from the front turning points, the turning radius is you just got to get used to. Being kind of cautious around the trees, try not to do any collisions. Um, so far, the Toro, this is the first time I've used it, uh, it's, it's, it's mulching the grass really good. Um, I didn't really pay too much attention in the beginning of how much grass I'm actually cutting off, but it's not really struggling at all, and it's a rainy day too, so it's, it's cutting it rather well. Now, I put mulchers on all of my mowers just because I don't want to keep just taking them off. Um, doing contracts that don't require mulchers, I'll just leave it on, that way I'll just keep taking them out, putting it back on. Just makes it easier for me. But, if you want to do the job quicker and just require a mulcher, you can take the mulcher off and you should be able to mow at a quicker rate because, yeah, you're not trying to mulch the grass, so just discharge it out the, well, this one be out the back, or the side, depending on what mower you have. You get the job done quicker, but I just prefer just to mulch it. That way I have to worry about it. Um, at some point, like I said, I will get a mower that has a bagging system. And we'll give that a whirl to see what that's like. I think I may have done it in the demo version episode. Uh, is it the Steiga? The, 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 uh, the first tracker that your option is when you uh, go to the shop. The Steiga has a bagger on it. And I think you have to go empty the bags when they're full at your van, so that's kind of an interesting concept that you have to take care of the clippings. I'd rather just mulch it up myself. But I guess a bagger would be quicker because you're just discharging it into a bag, but then you'll have to take your time to go empty the bags out. I don't know how fast the bags fill or anything like that, so... I guess each floor would be different. Looks like the sun may be actually coming out in-game. Well, it's still kind of raining a bit. So yeah, kiss my uh, uh, oh sorry, kiss my grass, <laughs> kiss my grass is um is doing rather well. We almost got the best headquarters in the game. I just can't hire anyone because our reputation is not high enough. It seems kind of weird that we we have the money to buy a decent headquarters, but I can't hire people. Just some minor areas to cut up around some obstacles, and we will be all done. And we'll click our RP and, of course, the cash. RP, to me, like I said, is more important now than cash because it seems like I'm making cash faster than uh, my RP status should be. So I got the money, I just don't have the RP. I'm probably picking up litter. It's not going to help me with that. Although it's kind of interesting. I mean, if you want a quick day and you have a lot of workers, you go around and pick up litter. It'll take you about two minutes. And if you have all your workers doing the bigger jobs, uh, yeah, you can get yourself a good amount of money in RP in a matter of a couple minutes. Now, it seems like with the higher end models that we buy, um, even on zero turn, 
even on a wet day, I'm not really tearing up any lawns. And I'm not really taking it easy on the lawn either. Really, that's a, that's a complete job apparently for you people. Okay, we'll turn it off. I had a little bit of collision in the beginning, but I didn't hit any trees or anything like that that I'm aware of. We'll see how good of a job I did on collisions. So the Toro, yeah, that's not a bad tractor. Uh, $1.76 in collisions, and that's pretty much it. Uh, bringing in some RP. Um, yeah, they, they on, on the penalties and fines, they kind of show the same thing for your workers for whatever you got, which seems kind of odd, but uh, maybe just copycat what you did. Uh, yeah, so there is a weekly report that you always get as well. Um, that doesn't look good because building purchases and upgrades... Uh, asset sales of 314000 That's buying and selling a garage or headquarters. But I did spend 21000 But then again, we did some upgrades and whatnot. Okay, so we got to go in here and maintenance. And wow, you did $51 in damage to that thing. Man, $16 on the engine, 519 on blades and fuel. Let's see, I did... 321, but then again, I did some collisions there. Blaze 243 and fuel. And we are all set. Uh, let me go to employees. Uh, Amber, how much cash do I got? I got 10,000. Uh, vehicle maintenance level. I don't know what it really does. Maybe it doesn't, maybe they don't damage the vehicle as much, so we'll, we'll do that. Only, and I'm going to say it's only 1,000, but... And Ryan Andrews will train you in the same thing. This employee has already been received some training for today. So they'll, they'll uh, get some training there and level up. And uh, yeah, I got contracts to do. A litter pickup. Jefferson Garden looks like the same one I've already seen. I'm getting kind of the same contracts. I'm in the same boat. Um, but hopefully if they all work today, I got a couple of good high paying jobs. RP value, not the greatest. But little by little, I will get there. Little by little will we get there. Uh, it's too bad that they always show... I mean, that's not the best mower that I have in the fleet, but uh, I guess that's what they'll show. Uh, so the Three Stooges. I mean, uh, Kiss My Grass Corporation. Company. Uh, incorporated. is doing rather well. Um, upgraded headquarters today. Twice. Um, bottom mower. Uh, and the employee I already had when I started the episode. But uh, we're moving on up. Um, hopefully when I hit whatever rank I need to be, I'll hire some more employees and not with 9,000 in my bank account, I should be able to buy another tractor lawnmower for them. Uh, I got six, I got three bays that are open so I can go ahead and, and getting more mowers, more employees and I'm sure at the same time, I might be able to even upgrade the headquarters, but we'll see what happens next time. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in Lawn Mowing Simulator, but until then, have a good one.